Okay, everyone, welcome to Figure Fantasy. So we have our answer for who is coming this week. It's going to be Lafayette. And um, I was actually leaning towards her because I was doing um, deductive <laughs> deductive things. And I had to deduce that um, based on the previous, lo previous um, servers and also based on the previous figures for the past um for, for the for the other uh, brands we have lafayette okay so no no shock because um let's read um is actually in the cycle the previous one was going to was Tenma. Previous one was Galitea. So obviously, it's going to be a figure for Let's Red. So she is actually a um she is actually a specialist. Uh, and also, let's check out uh, what they call this. Check out uh, the Japanese uh, rating for her. She is actually the B tier for them. I'm gonna just move forward with with her. You know, just wanna give you guys an idea of her skill kit and see if she has a place in our game. She's tier B, but definitely I think she has something for us, something special for us. Okay, characters. Uh, uh, Lafayette's rating is here. She has a strength and damage and attack speed of allies in her ultimate, which is good. She has a buff. She's a specialist. Targets the front ally in the same horizontal row as her as herself. Okay, so the effect size increases when it's activated for the first time. Pursuit occurs after a certain number of normal attacks. Short stun grant possible. So I'm interested. She 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 puts out stun. She has buffs for attack speed and uh, damage. And we'll see. So evaluation. So going down here. Let's uh, take a look at her skills. Okay. So for her attack, priority is given to the front row. The same horizontal row as you. So she is range 6. Attack speed is, you know, it's basic because she's a specialist. Level up effect. Increased by 50% once you have it her at level 3. That's it. Her ultimate is energy is 70. So this is going to be a fast ultimate. Energy recovery is going to be 60. So she's going to go first, obviously, because you need to go let her go first because of the boss. Grants a bouquet protection to the foremost ally in the row. So foremost, which is the, uh, in the front. And... Granted, all allies increase damage and attack speed by 22%. She's going to be good. She's going to be good. She she has both buffs, which are very good. So increased damage and attack speed. So she's an attack. She's a attack buffer and a speed buffer. Lasts for 12 seconds when the mystery is activated for the first time. The attack speed is further increased by 22%. Which is doubled, which is 44%, which is good. So it, this gives you first dibs, first to deal big damage when you have her. Because she goes first with the ultimate and um, first activation is going to have increased attack speed further. Okay, when, damage, um, when damaged by a passive flower attack, the blessed ally is treated. So I think she has kind of a small heal. 50% chance to give yourself a 60 second bouquet blessing. I don't know what that means, but this is kind of weird. Okay, passive skill. Every time you make four normal attacks, so after the four, uh, fourth normal attack, you will shoot a flower at the target. So she throws a flower. When a flower hits the target, it will bounce around the target five times, damaging it if the second flower attack hits, stuns for 0 0.5 seconds, which is small. So. Um, passive, kind of okay. Level up effect, attack with flowers every time you make uh, three normal attacks. So it's trimmed down to three attacks. Increase the damage of the attacks by flowers by 10. If you hit the same target multiple times, the damage will increase by 33% each time. So 
passive is meant for damage. Again, the stun is very small. It's 0 0.5 seconds. So I don't think it's gonna, it's gonna matter it's a little bit, but not that much. But um, for her exclusive skill, increased damage dealt to normal attack by 12%. Increase on attack by 5, initial energy by 20, increase damage uh, dealt to all normal attack targets by 8%. Okay, so what are my thoughts when she's going to be around? Um, based on her faction, so it's going to be Let's Red. Okay, Let's Red is based on summons, right? It's a summon team. She can be a good one if she's if she can buff all the summons. She's she's going to be a good support. So that is how I see it. But she's not really a primary. You can swap out Awi for her from time to time. If you need more offense, then you could go with Lafayette. If you need more def uh, defense, you can go with um, with Awi. So that is my take. So you have in the front, you have Megan, you have Suzumi. You have Harriet, you have Miko, then you have her. Kind of good, kind of good team. Um, it's meant to really deal a lot of damage initially, especially when there are summons, buff for summons, buff for attack and attack speed. So those are my thoughts initially, but we'll have to test her out. Again, she's not really... She's not really a big a must summon. She's really an add-on to your team so that you have more options again for Tenma. But she's a good addition, I tell you. Especially if it's going to be a summon team. So that is it, guys. What do you think of Lafayette? Will, will she have a dent in our meta? Will she be useful to Let's Red? Your thoughts, please, in the comment section below so that we may discuss. So that is it. Looking forward to her banner landing by Friday. So thank you, guys. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.